Hello and welcome to Strat News Global. I am Nitin Gokhale, and I am privileged to have with me Chairman of India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, Dr. Satish Reddy. Dr. Reddy, thank you very much for your thank time. You. Uh, in fact, uh, DRDO is um, an organisation which uh, is at the forefront of uh, Make in India in defence, and also, of course, doing a lot of research uh, for India's uh, defence and, of course, defence capabilities to be built. Uh, just recently, I think the Prime Minister uh, went and uh, spoke to young scientists uh, at uh, uh, Bangalore and he also dedicated to the nation, I think if I remember correctly, Young Scientist Laboratories. Can you tell us a little bit about what that project is? See, Prime Minister had actually directed us uh, in 2014 that why not you have five Young Scientist Laboratories where Everyone there is below 35 years old. Okay. So, <clears throat> I worked on it and then uh, created five young scientist laboratories. Uh, generally, uh, most of them are uh, connected to the academic institutes and in five places, Bombay, Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore and Calcutta on in five subjects, mm -hmm. artificial intelligence, quantum computing, cognitive technologies, and uh, advanced materials, okay. smart materials, right. and uh, asymmetric technologies. Oh, so this is all futuristic, futuristic right. technologies. Mm -hmm. And all the scientists who are there in that laboratories mm -hmm. are below 35 years old. As, and they as have right. the same mm -hmm. powers as any doctor in any other laboratory. Really? So everything is uh, given to them, same powers. Mm -hmm. And so they will be working on these technologies. Mm -hmm. And they are well connected to academic institutes like, uh, let's say, quantum computing is in IIT Mumbai. Mm -hmm. The cognitive technologies is in IIT Chennai. Mm -hmm. And uh, the asymmetric technologies is in IIT Karakpur, Kolkata campus. So likewise, they are well connected to the academic institutes also. So they work on the futuristic technologies. And Prime Minister was uh, there in Bangalore and dedicated these five labs to the nation. He interacted with all the scientists and also said that uh, you can create more as these uh, laboratories are getting matured also. Right. So there is a good experiment to work on the futuristic technologies encouraging the youngsters of the country. So clearly uh, DRDO is uh, working on uh, not just futuristic technology but a lot of uh, very uh, important uh, technologies uh, for Indian Armed Forces. And uh, we are about to complete one year, uh, maybe the next month in March, when you conducted the anti-satellite test last year. What has been uh, your experience in doing that and uh, what ability it brings to the nation? Firstly, uh, the scientists have come up to the expectations and the Prime Minister has given us two years time to do such a experiment and uh, it's not a easy task it's such a complex mission completely building a missile in two years time design development and whatnot and everything launching the satellite and uh, people have worked day and night for the last that uh, two years and 27th March last year the experiment was done it's a very complex uh, and very critical mission. See, you are having a satellite in the low Earth orbit at about 300 kilometers, at about 7.8 kilometers per second velocity. Mm -hmm. The interceptor missile, you have to launch it with precision, time-wise, and then it has to travel with that to that 300 kilometers, and it is going uh, close to about 3 kilometers per second. And so, relative velocity between the two is about 11 kilometers per second and there is no explosive or anything, you have to go and directly hit it and the satellite is just 1.2 meters by 1.1 uh, um, 1 meter uh, is the uh, size of it the size, yeah. and then you hit it close to about 6 centimeters from the geometric center. So, it's a so very it's precise. A very, very, very precise operation. Mm -hmm. So, this has given the boost to the morale of the scientists that we can take up such complex missions sure. and we will be able to do such complex missions. World has recognized India that yes, it has the capabilities to do that. Sure. This actually gives a lot to the country. Mm -hmm. First thing is, uh, before the international community, you have become a uh, technological power. Okay, this is number one. Number two, in the space, you have proven your technologies and then it becomes a good deterrence. Mm -hmm. Third, the ballistic missile defense program 
you are able to engage the targets at about 300 kilometers and that gives the capability for uh, engaging ballistic missiles which are even by 5000 kilometers and the longer range also so this has given multiple advantages and benefits to the country and of course morale boost the scientists of course this uh, honorable prime minister himself coming and announcing to the nation um, that's a drdo is the one of the very very happy occasions that's true but drdo has done well uh, i mean if we look back and you were also uh, dg at one time of the missiles and uh, strategic systems that particular segment has particularly done well uh, over the past 5 years or so so give us a uh, sense of where we are as far as missiles uh, testing and missile inductions are concerned in all the three armed forces firstly as far as the missile technologies are concerned we are self sufficient mm -hmm. and we can build any missile what armed forces look for particularly in the last um, one year lot of systems have been uh, developments have been completed development trials have been completed look at uh, today the anti tank missile nak it has gone through the user trials right in the summer in the deserts we have successfully proven the nak uh, with a high precision and all that second the air to air missile astra it has gone through the complete developmental uh, trials uh, a very good missile for the country which has a range of about 100 kilometers and it is able to engage the target at that range launched from su30 aircraft then we have the qr sam yeah quick reaction uh, service to air missile also that is also uh, reaction time is very like less and that also development trials have been completed completely everything is indigenous uh, in that system whatever uh, have been made in all these systems mm -hmm. and uh, also the guided pinaka okay. that's also another missile what mm -hmm. has been done that is also very quickly in a short period of about 3 years we have completely yeah. development has been done development trials have been completed mm -hmm. now we are in many things we are in advanced stage of development like uh, helicopter launched helina anti tank missile that's mm -hmm. also in advanced stage of development we have uh, man portable atgm yeah. anti tank missile that's also in an advanced mm -hmm. stage of development mm -hmm. lots of development trials have been completed sure. so likewise many systems have been um, gone through the trials and doing extremely well in the missiles right you are working closely with the armed forces on what their requirements are are they also uh, you know telling you that this is what the future requirements are how does it work uh, these are all based on the psqs from the armed forces, armed forces. we have uh, complete synergy with the armed forces right. and we have uh, mm -hmm. in fact monitoring teams present in the projects also at various locations where are there are laboratories are there yeah there are part and parcel of it and we have quarterly interaction meetings also sure. wherein um, we review and take decisions based on whatever uh, requirements are there and, sure. sure. and uh, not only the missiles lot of other areas also yeah, but done before well. we go to other areas just uh, two questions one on of course the agni which is now uh, agni 5 which is fully i think uh, developed and uh, already ready uh, and uh, about the submarine launch missile where are we in, in, on that program the agni 5 yes you know that the development trials have been completed and the induction process is on okay and uh, i wouldn't be able to uh, answer your question on the submarines as it is uh, it's a classified classified project. programs okay and um, we are as i said in any of the areas mm -hmm. we are having the capabilities to develop any type of a missile the complete technologies whether it is propulsion technology avionics navigation control mm -hmm. and the design capability we have in the country today any missile any type of a requirement armed forces give we are sure that we will be able to develop such a missile in a very short span of time we definitely stand as uh, one of the very few nations who have such capabilities right see look at uh, bmd today ballistic missile defense yes. program what we have done mm. very successful program we are one of the four or five nations in the world who have right. such a successful programs running and all that True. and even the long range missiles also when you look at it we are one of the few few nations in the world who have uh, such things True. 
and um, we don't depend on uh, anything today from outside so yes, we will be able to develop anything but like you said it's not only missiles you have also now gone into different uh, segments we are very strong technology. now in radars right. we are very strong in sonars mm -hmm. sonars we are developing one of the best systems here in the country mm -hmm. and uh, any type of a radar we will be able to develop the right. industry is also geared up today industry is able to come up to our requirements today we are very good in uh, ew systems electronic warfare systems we are good in torpedoes we have multiple torpedoes our varunastra is already getting inducted many other torpedoes we are developing and we also have developed guns mm. uh, this is uh, the world's longest range gun mm -hmm. atax has right. been developed by the country through two industries yes, and uh, this is the artillery gun the artillery gun the yeah. 155 mm gun sure. and uh, that is also trials are going uh, through and we had that successful development of trials and that is one of the other uh, good things what have happened yes and also last year is very good for us the final operation clearance of the lc has come lc has come uh, absolutely yes, that's right and so that is getting through and shortly the 83 numbers order should be uh, placed given to hl, HL yeah. and that production goes on and uh, you know that uh, the lc navy has landed uh, on vikramaditya successfully and absolutely. taken off a number of trials are going on so that is a very major milestone for us as far as the naval aircraft is concerned absolutely true in fact uh, that was one of the uh, constant criticisms against uh, you know the indian uh, systems or the indian uh, the drdo or uh, the scientists that they have not been able to develop a light combat aircraft or a fighter aircraft so that's a very important milestone you spoke about so clearly uh, a lot of energy as i mentioned and as lot of uh, you know plans in for the future so i wish you all the best uh, for what you are doing and uh, i think uh, the nation deserves what you are doing thank you thank you very much